everybody welcome back to my channel today I wanted to show you how to use your digital planner with Metamoji and we're using the paid version not the light version and I think it's only like maybe seven bucks one time purchase now if you've been following my channel then you know that I use GoodNotes 5 all the time for my planners and that's the go-to app that I prefer because it has the functionality that I like but today I'm going to show you how to use Metamoji in case that you have a Android and maybe you don't have an Apple or maybe you just don't care for good notes. So I'm going to show you how to use this app with my planner. So the first thing we're going to do is import it in. So we're going to hit this plus sign up here and then we're going to hit import. And then we're going to go browse and find where it is that you saved your planner. So here's mine and we're going to import it in the exact same way that it is because it's in the right um, rotation and location okay so here's our planner and the first thing you're going to notice is with Metamoji you cannot click and be taken to the next page like you can in GoodNotes. So we are going to do a workaround so that we can make that happen. So again, you have to have Metamoji, the paid version. It will not do it in the light version. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click down here where we show um, 1 through 55, the pages, I meant 1 through 51, the pages of our planner. And it's going to pop up this little side bar over here. And right now you can view all your pages the way that it is right here, as long as it's on page. And you can go through and view all your pages that are in this planner. But we want to be able to jump to section to section. So we're going to hit jump. We're going to add the section, which is the cover. And we're just going to make it, you can, you can make it the whole size if you want, or just part of the image. It's up to you, however you want to do it. And then we're going to hit register. And then we're going to go to the next page, which is our index. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the plus sign and we're going to size it and then register. And then we're going to go to the next one. So any page that you want to be able to jump to or click on and have the tabs jump to that page so you don't have to go through the whole planner you're going to do this. So now if I go click on the first box it's going to take me to the cover and then when I click the second one it's going to take me to the next page and so on. So that's what you're going to do. Let's see we'll do a few more. So here's the January we're going to hit plus sign, register, So now I have my cover, my index page, my informational page, January, February, and then so on. You just do this for every section that you want to be able to jump to. Okay, so I already have another planner already set up. Like I said, I'm more familiar with GoodNotes 5, but I wanted to make a couple of different videos out there for the different apps so that... Um, you know, if you're not familiar with it or familiar with digital planning, then you at least have this to kind of get you guided and get you started. The first thing we're going to do is go through the toolbar at the top. And this little eye button right here, depending on how it's clicked, sometimes it won't let you scroll unless you've clicked on it. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if it has to do with the Apple Pencil or not. It's not going to do it now. Um, also, if you need a laser pointer for any kind of reason, that is also there. Here is where you're going to write in your planner. So there's different shapes and different um, pins and types and sizes. So if you just click on it and click on it again, you can choose if you want a, a pin, a highlighter, a calligraphy pin, a fountain pen, or a brush. 
and then you just change your size and thickness and you can change your color and that didn't really make it very big let's see let's move it up a little bit more so let's see pin let's make it a little thicker you can zoom in okay so I just kind of long pressed on that and then it popped up where I can move it so that's something that I didn't know okay so let's zoom in and then we can write and then we can highlight and we can change the size and stuff and color of our highlighter the same way you want a dotted dash line and then of course if you want a calligraphy type And I'm not 100% sure what this does. It doesn't really do anything that I can tell. Again, I'm used to GoodNotes 5, so maybe it has a function that I just don't know. We have the eraser. If you want to erase, erase just a little bit, you can. Or if you need to make it bigger. Um, if you want to erase the whole page, this is where you're going to do it right here. If you have something that you want to move, again, earlier, I mean, I just held down and that came up, but you can also lasso and then move, and then you should be able to, uh, you know, have options to change it, bring it to the front, bring it to the back, um, pull on it, you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like moving shapes or what, but it looks like it's got the same kind of stuff. Okay, and then we have our text. So we will type where we want to type. We'll touch where we want to type. And then let's make the font bigger. And then let's type. So a little small let's make it a little bigger okay and you got your bold and italic and underline you know the usual and then if you want to align it I have my fonts already installed um, if you don't know how to do that I think I'm gonna make a video on how to install fonts also but it's pretty simple. Okay, so that covers the text, which is pretty basic, easy to figure out. And then let's say we have a recording option. If you want to record yourself a note, um, you can do that right here. So you just hit that button and then stop it. You hit the button again and then you can play it. And here are the settings for your microphone. Okay, so one thing about having digital planners is being able to add stickers. So we're going to go over here and tap the plus sign. And we are going to hit add photo. And we're going to... In GoodNotes, we can actually pull from our files or photos. Um, this only see that you can pull from your photo album. So you need to make sure that you have your stickers um, put in a photo album. So... Here is a washi tape sticker. You just put it in whatever size like that. So here's some text. So that's how you put in stickers, real simple. Um, you can add shapes and add items and then also add a web page. Let's see, we're going to add Google. There it is. I don't know if it actually does anything specific. Um, 
I mean, you might possibly can make it where you click on it and you go. I'm not 100% sure. If you add an item, you're going to get these little clip art things. Okay, so that just kind of shows you um, some of the things. Now to cover the planner, we started at the home button. And again, here's our home button. And then, like I said, you can jump through. This is your index page. And on the index page, uh, these tabs right here can all be named whatever you want to name them. Um, just going to write some stuff down for now. And then these tabs actually go to one, two, three up here. So again, you probably won't be able to use them like you would in Good Notes because you can't necessarily make that part of the page clickable. So you'll just have to you'll just have to jump to those pages, um, the one, two, three, four, five, six at the back of the planner. Now let's scroll through. Let's see. So you have your index page, you have your information page, and then you have your months, and then you have a monthly layout inside of that section. And if you want, let's go to our pages, and let's go to the back. We have a tab for extras, and this is all um, different layouts. So we have a horizontal weekly layout, and then we have a vertical weekly layout, a daily page, and you can, it's just all customizable. You can go in and write, you know, left it blank so you can do whatever you want to do with it. Um, here's a habit tracker where you can go in and track some stuff. We have a birthday tracker to just kind of keep up and help you. Um, keep up with birthdays throughout the year. Same thing for Christmas wishes. And then here are extra tabs. And if you notice, there's nothing behind them. With good notes, we can move things around. So I'm about to try that with this. Let's see. We have a budget section. And this is where there's a little finance planner. We also have a mail planner with a shopping list. And then we have different note sections. So there's a blank note, some line notes, dot grid, and graph paper. Now what I usually do is take these pages and then duplicate them. So let's see if we could do that. Okay, so we're going to hold down or tap. And then we copied, and then we're going to tap again, and we're going to paste. So now I have three pages. Okay, so let's go get a weekly layout. Let's copy, and then let's go to a month. Because I like to have a weekly layout behind my month. So let's tap and then paste. There we go. So now, if I'm in my planner and I'm jumping to February, it's going to take me to the February section. And then I can swipe. To my February month and now I have my weekly layout so from here I would just go to my pages and then I'm gonna copy and paste wherever I want to add one or you can clear this page each week whatever is easier for you to do Okay, so I hope that helped you figure out the Metamoji app. Again, this is the paid version.
that has the jump feature. The free version does not have the jump feature and I'm not even for sure if it has all the other features that I showed you. But this at least gives you the ability to jump from section to section so it gives you the simulated um, feeling of clicking and flipping through the planner. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, then just comment below and let me know.